I have a one-year-old little boy. He's the most adorable thing in the world. But when he was in the womb, I was afraid of fucking him up. Every fucking ultrasound, I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm ruining my child. This is, do you guys not? Anybody have kids in here probably? Yeah, at least sex parents, right? Do you guys have ultrasounds? <laughs> Close. You've all been scanned by the, right? We used to do those, like, when I was born, they had, like, one or two of them, maybe. And now it's every four weeks. And we last for, like, an hour and a half, two hours at a time, but just searching, probing this little fetus in there. Oh, look at all the things we can tell. Oh, we can tell what genetic disorders that he's susceptible for. And look at his blood type and how his kidneys are retaining fluid. And you're pounding high-frequency sound waves into a fucking fetus. It, disrupts the tissue, it heats the bone, which bakes the brain, and it sounds like a goddamn freight train in the womb. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here's a little human that just booted up its very first sense to make sense of this reality, right? It's hearing, and it's trying to piece together its existence in this cosmos, and once every three to four weeks, we're just pounding it with high-frequency sound waves and making it turn off and go into its happy place for self-preservation. And then years later, it's like, Johnny, Johnny, I don't know why he does this. He never changes his name. Johnny. And they call it autism, but it's not. It's little Johnny just like, fuck you, mom. I learned how to tune you out at 12 weeks when you took a 3D picture of my dick to send to grandma and grandpa. You're looking for a cause. Maybe there's a correlation there. I don't know.